Lauren is a very outgoing, fun-loving child. Uh, she loves to dance and loves school and excels in, in all areas of academics. Lauren's quite the character. She's, uh, she's very sweet. Um, we we're just so blessed that she's part of our life. Wednesday was going to be her fourth grade picture day, so a special mother-daughter time. Picked out her clothes to wear and she got dressed and she was so excited about school that day. We got a call from the school and they said, you know, you need to come check on Lauren. Something's not quite right. Their teacher had sent her down to the nurse's office. So by the time I got there, she couldn't even walk. When I put her in the car, I went to try to buckle her in. That's when she was just like, she would slump. She would fall to her side, kind of to her left side. And I just looked at the nurse. I said, can we please call the ambulance? I said, something's not right. When I called my husband, Sal, it was her fourth grade teacher and said that they were in the ambulance. So that was one minute and the next minute, my daughter's in the ambulance being taken down to the hospital. I'm thinking, you know, we're gonna go to one of our local hospitals here around Cypress area. And after about 10 minutes, he said, you know, we're gonna go down to Children's Memorial Herman. Within a few minutes of getting the ER, that's when she crashed and, and you know, everything kind of went crazy. They really didn't have, a, at that point, have a clue what was going, what was going on. Somebody had mentioned a blood clot, and you know we were talking about that. Then they did further testing. They came back, and they said, no, it's this arteriovenous fistula malformation. We'll always remember when they just said, we have the guy, we have the man, we have the doctor here that that yeah. we know who to call. I knew uh, about. 90% um, of what's happening um, by the MRI study. But what I can do to reverse it, to help her, I wasn't 100% sure. They inserted the catheter and, and um, did some exploratory surgery. We immediately realized that she had a two very uh, complex conditions tangled together. Uh, basically, she had uh, virtually every single outflow um, uh, blood vessel channel shut down. And on top of that, because of the gradual process of losing the blood outflow, blood vessels start to find a way to get out of the brain. Imagine this is an eight lanes highway turning into one lane and going to complete the wrong alley and come out. Literally within 30 minutes, he comes out of the operating room, still in his full gear and mask. And I was in shock. I said, Dr. Chen, is that you? And, and I said, is everything okay? And um, he was actually coming to talk to me and saying to ask for permission to go ahead and start surgery. He wasn't, he got in and saw how bad it was, but he said, I'll never forget this. He goes, it's gonna be really difficult, but I know what to do now. He goes, I know what it is. I had envisioned them cutting Lauren open and going in and when they just kept, kept talking about surgery and Dr. Chen's like, no, we're going to go in and we're going to use glue and, and glue the, the malformation shut. Imagine that you have uh, a highway accident multiple places on the same route and you're going to have a trouble to deal with this at the same time. What we try to do is uh, try to fix it, fix it efficiently to be able to fix all these problems and fix it will never come back. I just remember them saying that she's swimming with sharks, you know, she's in dangerous water. Death being one, life being one, that we're somewhere in the middle. After the second procedure, we immediately saw blood flow change completely. And at least for me at the time, I feel very comfortable she's gonna do very well. When she finally kind of came out of her coma and was able to kind of look at me, um, you know, that that was that was a great day. Initial day she got in the hospital was a Wednesday. Her surgery was on Thursday and Friday, and she was in intensive care on Saturday. And by Sunday evening, they were moving us down to a step down unit. Lauren's case was so unique and you know so many groups had to be involved between surgery and neurologist and just the fact that knowing that all those different groups were working as closely as they were together to do what's best for Lauren was 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 amazing and you know I think it's one thing that makes Memorial Herman so unique. It's always a joy to see any any person you participate in treat and they recover completely. She has exceeded 
the <laughs> best possible outcome. Yeah, I just look at her in awe. She's amazing. I really believe she's got a great life ahead of her because children from Royal Herman saved her life.